Tony stashed most of his stuff here when Stark Industries went under. And if anyone knows where Tony is, it's Jarvis. This trail should take us to the Archive's secret entrance. Cool. Well, it's a nice day for a hike. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah, are you wearing that communications bud I gave you? Yeah, practically invisible. So why did you go back to the- I do like that you're now playing as Hulk. So is this kind of how it works then? Like you, you have different missions with different heroes too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'll have, uh, you'll do a mission with Hulk and then you'll, uh, you know, play with him, get used to him, and then they'll bring you over to a new character and they keep introducing them. It's basically what we can look forward to. It's really fun. Hmm. And you had asked my thoughts on the game a little bit now that I had beaten it. I honestly even forgot I asked that, but yes, I did. <laughs> and honestly, I remember that I didn't care what you think, so that's what <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to take that question back. How about instead, you shut the hell up and let me be funny. Watch this. La, 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 la. <laughs> laugh, laugh, laugh. See, that's much better content than what you've ever offered to this channel. That's probably accurate. Yeah, that's true. Cool. That's probably accurate. They'll look back at this. They'll be like, this is a very dark joke. I'll go missing at some point, presumed dead. Sure. And you'll find multiple cries for help. Yep. In throughout, hidden throughout the channel. Both and that was one of them. That was one of them. Play it backwards. That will be is something helpful. That'll be no, no, no. That'll be one of the moments where people realize they could have stopped what was coming for me. Oh. But they didn't. They didn't. They no. let it happen. Anyways, what do you think about this game? Honestly, yeah, I, I have a. Um, a lot of things that I actually enjoyed. So the story was actually pretty fun for the most part. I had a good time with the story. It wasn't something that was like Last of Us level, like complexity and you know, filled with emotion. Oh, this is dope though. Dude, you get to play as Hulk? Yeah, I did this section already kind of in the beta. So, oh, that's right. So you've liked it more than some other people have. Yeah, I've genuinely had a good time. I think that, uh, and I'm looking forward to doing the Avengers Initiative and doing some of the other missions and getting the trophies. Uh, the harm room, which is where that room is, you know, where you're kind of practicing and stuff, is actually fun. Yeah, I tried it out a little bit when the um, when the beta was out. Yeah. They let you try the harm room a little bit. Yes. Um, it's, and it's, it's neat. Fun. The characters play substantially differently from all like from one another. Uh, there are some things that are, you know, that aren't great per se. Like I, we mentioned, the gear system I wish was actually more cosmetics based instead of just having different costumes. But having different costumes is cool, so it's kind of tricky. I don't hate how they did it, but I don't know. I guess I'm kind of mixed on that. Uh, I will say one thing that has been kind of tough for me gameplay wise is flying with Tony Stark and Thor. Uh, it's kind of a little clunky, in my opinion. I it reminds me of like the early Lego games where you were flying this character. Oh, like Marvel's Lego Marvel Avengers. Yeah, like the first one was a little bit tougher to fly, and they really polished it up in the newer ones. Like if you play DC Super Villains, the flying is awesome and smooth and easy to do and genuinely fun when you go up to like Mach 50 with Superman. Uh, this game does a fine job, but it's just kind of clunky in my opinion. So it's difficult to shoot while you're flying and doing both. Uh, the controls can be kind of frustrating at times. So that's one thing that I dealt with that I thought was kind of frustrating. Uh, the villain, and like story-wise, was fine. Like I said, there wasn't uh, a ton of gravity behind it, I didn't think, as far as just like emotional weight. You weren't crazy invested in the characters, but it was a really good comic book story, I thought. I enjoyed it. I had fun with it. I feel so. like you should help me actually review this game review it once we finish it. But I certainly would. Yeah. I think that would actually be fun for the main channel. Yeah. I don't know if anyone really cares about the game, though, because like today I put up a five characters I think should be brought to it, and it's probably one of my worst performing videos in the last couple weeks. It's it, The game's really not performing great, I think, sales-wise, which is a bummer, because I do think that it's a fun game. I think it could really be great after a few patches, and after they tighten a few things up and maybe add in some more characters and just some more incentives. Uh, well, but, a lot of people are also, like, boycotting the game. Really? Yeah, with stuff like the Spider-Man stuff, I really don't think that helped the sales. No, that's like, a, a lot of point. people were like, well, I'm not even going to play this, then. I I guess I don't blame them. Like, if I was on Xbox, I'd be pretty frustrated, too. Ooh, get some help, dude. You're in danger. Yeah, so I'm having a hard time with the combat, actually. A little bit. It's kind of challenging. Yeah. Um, it is challenging. Well, because it's so different. Like you said, it doesn't flow the same way. I mean, it can. Mm -hmm. You can play it almost a more... Wow, well, play... You can play it almost in a more free-flow manner, but I'm yeah. not doing a good job with that, I guess. 
It just, it's an adjustment. It took a while. And the thing is, is once you start to get smooth and good with one character, you change characters, and then you have to readjust to that character, which is fun, but also challenging, because like you start to get good with Hulk, you start to get his stats up, you're like, oh, this is great, this is going where I want it to. All right, now you play as this character. So it changes rapidly. It's hard to get used to anything. So I think you'll really start to get a feel for it once you start getting like a, a main, you know, after the game, where you're really focusing on one character. If you want to do it that way, um, you'll probably want to, you know, max out as many characters as you want, and as, as many as you can. But I could see myself maining a couple that I really enjoy playing as, kind of like you would in Injustice or you know one of those games. Where you'd, I, I had like Batman and I think Deathstroke in the first one that were like my favorites that I really had a good time with. So I could see people doing that. Those are really frustrating and hard to dodge. I have a hard time with those guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm like not doing well with it right now. Because you hit dodge and it doesn't seem to matter. Yeah, like I was doing it there. I'm just trying to take them out so that I don't have to deal with them in a second. Okay. Nice! There we go. Did you it get just, this far before? Um, what do you mean? No, no. Oh, no. okay, okay. Oh, you mean this time through. I was going to say, well, in the beta, yes, I beat Abomination. Yeah, yeah. I do like the jumping with Hulk. The jumping's fun. Yeah. And his, like, super's really fun. There's some great stuff. Like I said, there's some good stuff with the characters. You are not amused. Yeah, I was trying to look down there. Dude, like what do you think? <laughs> what do you think about the whole um, I won't mention the, uh, situation with Chris Evans? <laughs> have, have you decided to be better about guarding that pussy? Since <laughs> <you saw it>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, man. Uh, it's an interesting story. It's, I guess I don't know a whole lot about it. All I know is that he leaked a dick pic. On accident. It was on accident. He, he, was, okay. he was trying to show people something on his phone, okay. like a motivational thing. Yeah. And he uh, accidentally... I, by the way, I've been looking to see if there's like fragments Crazy and stuff. stuff that you can get, yeah. Um, he accidentally leaked a... Oh, it's the touchpad. Picture of his wiener. And um, <laughs> it's kind of, you know, it's a little funny. But, um, so here's my thing with it, right? I don't want to make a big deal out of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Now, I do want to say that one annoying aspect to me about this whole thing, I thought if you held L2, you could about do the best things. Wiener Gate? Something's annoying you about it? Well, I'll tell you in a second. I okay. thought if I held L2, I could equip the best stuff. The, you must have the best stuff equipped then. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so anyways, I like this rock. I'm taking it with me. It's a nice rock. Um... When this happened to Jennifer Lawrence and a lot of women, it was a big deal and awful and an invasion of privacy. Sure. But when it happens to Chris Evans, oh, look at his wiener. That's a, that's a funny looking wiener. So to me, it's kind of obnoxious in that way because, um, I guess I'll let her in. Um, come on. Nice. So to me, it's kind of annoying in that way because, yes, you can argue, well, in the other case, someone hacked, like, Jennifer Lawrence, right? Yeah. Or these other people. Right. But the end result is the same. It was the unwanted, accidental leak of nudes and an invasion of what that person wanted kept private. And now, Correct. In, in this case, this person accidentally did it. Um, yeah, and I think it's, it's interesting because... Because, <laughs> like, he took it well and differently too like if you saw it too i think mark ruffalo made a joke about it yeah i think his brother came on and made a joke about it and then he made a joke about it later today or yesterday or something so he's taking it in jest and honestly doing just he really probably well doesn't seem it. like he cares that no much. i doubt he cares but, but just, do you get what i'm saying i 100 percent, i get what you're saying well, for sure there's yeah. a double standard there in terms of and I'm not saying, I don't know how he would have handled it if it was leaked, right? If somebody hacked him and did it. Right, yeah. Uh, I still think it would be, I think then they would probably pursue, like, a legal thing. It's a bit more memeable because it, it was, was his him. fault, really, you know, right? And I get the meme of yeah. it, but yes, you're you're completely right. Okay, good. I mean, good. guard that pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, what yeah. bothers me is just that I feel like because he's a man and this happened to him, no one cares. If it was a woman, it would be like like when Paige's um, sex tapes were leaked and yeah. stuff. It was like, you shouldn't look at that. That's awful. And she was upset by it. I do also think that even though people aren't going to like this take, there is a difference between a man being exposed and a woman. For some reason, women are more valued for their looks. So when you show a woman's everything, it's more personal a lot of the times mm -hmm. to both people and to the woman. Like, if people saw my wiener right now, I don't really care. I think I have a pretty nice wiener. 
You know, it's not like, you know, we're not out here like Shaq. We're not, like, backing that much. The Shaq we're, just, you know. We're doing pretty fine, you know? If people saw it. You're confident in what you got going on. Good I, for you, I'm dude. fine with it. I'd rather I'd rather people see my wiener than my stomach because I feel fat. Isn't that weird? That's kind of weird, yeah. I don't care about my wiener. I'm proud of that. <laughs> but my point is that I don't think it's okay that just because he's a guy that it's like all the women are like, oh, look at his penis. It's amazing. Because I saw a lot of women also saying, like, Wow, it's so attractive. Like, I'm glad I saw this. Like, not as a meme. And Dude, I'm, like, I'm glad I'm not really on Twitter. Good lord. Yeah, and I'm like, what a this cesspool of a place to be. I was just like, dude, this is pretty toxic. If it's not okay when it happens to a woman, but it's okay when it happened to him, <laughs> that's that's pretty bad. The same thing happened with Justin Bieber, where it was like, oh, look at Justin Bieber's penis. But you know, some <laughs> wait, he had nudes too. Yeah, he's got a pretty nice penis too. <laughs> <laughs> and for, for like, women, though, it's like, that's so awful. How can you objectify women and want to see them nude like that without yeah. their consent? It's like, well, one, everybody wants to see everybody else nude if they think they're attractive. Sure, sure. Um, and two, it's, it's either all okay or none of it is. It's kind of what I think about it. Um, I don't really think that there should be a... I'm glad it's a meme with him, but I'm just saying the people that were all for it, like, oh, yes, I'm so glad I saw the wiener. That to me is kind of toxic because it's like, well, then why are you not okay with X, Y, and Z? Like, right. why are you, why are you cherry picking like what's okay with unwanted uh, invasion of privacy getting out yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's tricky because like you know if, if it's leaked and it was not in any way in relation to you being your fault, I guess, besides right. you taking the picture. Then I think it's an invasion of privacy, regardless of if it's a man or a woman or whatever. I mean, it's just it's just an invasion of privacy. If it's you making a mistake and you just releasing it, whether it be like by accident, whatever it happened, uh, it really just depends, I think, on then how you react and how you take it. And it seems that, like you said, it tends to be that for guys it's a bit more funny. And I think this we is don't because, care as like, much. we think wieners are funny. I don't know. Like, it's just well, like, and also, we're not ashamed of our bodies, really, generally. So, yeah, some I guys mean, are. But I yeah. mean, you, well, you can be, like, insecure, but, like, I don't right. I don't think most guys who identify, who fully identify as a man. I'm not saying, you know, transgender people, like, they don't sure. really want to show off a male body if they're biologically male and want to identify as female. A lot of times they don't want to show that off. But guys like us that are just cis, straight males... A lot of times it's like, well, that's just my body. I'm a guy. That's it. I mean, there's things I want to improve. Like, for me, I feel like I kind of got moobs because I haven't taken good enough care of my diet. I want to improve that. I'm a little embarrassed by that, not going to lie. It bothers me. But my wiener doesn't because it's just like, that's me. Yeah. That's not going to change. My cock doesn't get any fatter <laughs> when I do. So, you know, I'm pa packing on that cock fat. Right <laughs> that cock fat. <laughs> He's got that good cock fupa. <laughs> Everyone's most desired trait. Oh, that's what I do. Okay, uh, this has got to be very frustrating for you to watch me struggle, so I'm sorry about that. No, no, no. I want you to enjoy it because I endured similar struggles. If you get, like, really stuck on something... Though, no, I will want your help. Please yeah, help sure. me if yeah. I do. Because it gets really annoying. So, yes, I, I don't mean to make a, a disingenuous argument, memes aside, because, yes, it was his accident fault versus a hack... But my point is just, if you have a unwanted, I didn't mean for this to get out there, this was private for me or people I like, and that's it, right? Yeah. One, as a celebrity, you do have to consider that, because it sucks, because anyone will try and get that. Yeah. Um, but two, I just think it's weird that, how do I use my super? That thing up there. Oh, you, that moon. oh, R2. R2, okay. Yep. Oh, do I have to hold it? That's kind of how you counter and use, like, your intrinsic energy, I believe is what it's called. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um... I'm just saying, not to make a disingenuous argument, but I think that if it gets out there and it's not supposed to, I don't really know if you should celebrate it sometimes and then be offended other times. It's like, well, he didn't want that out there. That's, at the end of the day, it still wasn't, like, on purpose. Um, so the people happy about it, not memeing, but happy, to me, that was weird. Right. Because it's like, well, that was still, like, a thing that wasn't supposed to get out there. I don't really know if you should, you know... Be like, yes, Chris Cock. Whoa. <laughs> Chris Cock. Yeah. Am I Captain am I just totally Cock. off base here? No, I don't think so at all. I think it's a I think it's a reasonable take. I think that it's it's tricky because it's a lot of that comes with like a case by case basis. But I think you have a reasonable point reasonable point in that there are kind of different standards 
for different genders, really, with it. And so it gets kind of uh, tricky, I guess, but also hypocritical at times. It can be, yeah. I mean, I think... Oh, sorry. I'm trying to I'm trying to get to my skills to see if I can get any. Oh, you can upgrade your gear, I think, too, actually. Oh, okay. Um, I also think that at, at, at some point... So L2. Yep. Boom! Full upgrade, dude. I, I Power think that, 7. So, by the way, that's neat, but it also bothers me because that trivializes the need for you to look at it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, which is yeah. kind of like... I mean, there are... Once you get a little bit higher up there, there are perks that you get with, like, Legendary, Epic, and those other ones, so you can choose which perks, and then it kind of depends on there, and you can boost them and do stuff like that. So, that stuff is helpful. If you do want to look and pick the perks that work well for you and boost the ones that you want, because you could have a Legendary one that's at, like, say, 12... And then, like, a, a rare one that's at 17. But you want the legendary perks, so you'll boost that up and then use that one. So it is important to keep an eye on it, depending on what class... So you're saying it's you not completely trivialized. Not completely, but it's kind of like a... Why don't you pick me, out a, pick me out a thing that you think will work well? Let's see. This one's really nice, actually. I do like battery RAM. It's kind of nice. Yeah, can I, I, yeah, I agree with you, though. That makes sense, what we were talking about. I, um... I definitely don't want to be a hypocrite about it either. I do think that it's worth noting everybody at some point's a hypocrite. Oh, of course. So, like, there will be some take I say on here that's, like, just peak dumbass. Sure, you know, it'll, sure. It'll happen. Um, some people think there already has been. You're wrong, because I'm always right. <laughs> yeah, still, rules are rules. Um, it's it's hard. I guess that, that stuff always bothers me, because, like, I'm very egalitarian. Like, I've said about, like, human rights and human privacy and stuff like that. It's, like, to me... If something bad happens to a woman, it sucks. If something bad happens to a man, it sucks. I don't like when it's trivialized by anybody. I'm glad for him, though, he made a joke out of it, though. Yes. Because yeah. I also think that should happen more. Like, Bella Thorne, for example, when someone was threatening to leak her boobs, she just released them. She said, fine, I'm a woman. I have boobs. Here you go. If you care that much about it, here's my boobs. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I think that's a lot more... I hate the word empowering because it's so hijacked now. But that's a lot more empowering and taking control of a situation over, like, just being like, well, oh no, I'm going to be, you know, just ruined by this. Yes, um, yeah. It's a, it's a totally different mentality. That but I think, some people are very private, though. Yes. That's, that sucks. It's kind of how, like, um, like with, with uh, I guess to a different extent, bear with me on this one, with, like, bullying, if you are able to, if you're able to, like, roll with the joke and, like, you know, kind of, like, laugh at something instead of being sensitive about right, we're, we're not talking about physical bullying we're talking about like oh hey how's it going four eyes like, yes like verbal and you laugh it off instead of like reacting to it it's kind of like oh well it's not as funny anymore so it's like avoiding that reaction obviously you know it, to a way different extent and bear with me on that analogy but well yeah because some people yeah like you said some people are bullied like to the point of like just wanting to die yes and that's very different than like I mean, I wouldn't say you were bullied, but people made jokes at your expense in high school sometimes, sure, and sure. you made jokes at our people's expense, and it was, like, messing around. We can't even boost anything. I don't understand what it wants us to do. We can't. I think it just wants us to keep playing. Over, oh. over, yeah. Is it that one? That, yeah, that one. Oh, Boost there we game. go. Okay, I see. Perfect! I do agree with you, though, that there's no point in these being separate slots if they don't look different at all. That's the thing, yeah, they don't. It's kind of weird. Oh, you poor devil. We'll take our goods and we'll be on our way. But yeah, so anyways, I think everyone... So I've heard this before. What do you think about a database where everyone has nudes on them so it's never a problem? <laughs> you know, I think that's the solution that everyone's looking for. And um, <laughs> But we found a comic. I don't see... <laughs> oh, we did. Fantastic. I really don't see any problems with it, honestly. No. Um, anyway, show me your penis. <laughs> For free! I'm getting ready to guard that pussy. <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to come back in the story because I know it'll happen. Don't say anything. I won't. For I the audience. Dare. I would not dream of it. Because I think there's a lot of people watching this. Did you see that? Let's play who don't want to buy this game. I don't want to ruin it for them. You know, that's completely fair. I'm feeling a little better, by the way, watching you play. I thought I was playing awfully, but you're playing about the same. Yeah, in a it's, lot of ways. it's, uh. How do you grab them? How do you uh, do that? It's like the takedown in Arkham. It's the circle and triangle at the same oh, time. Oh, really? There's a control for that? Oh, yeah, I didn't yeah, you just destroy guys. Okay, really just fun. kicks it. Yeah, just, yeah it's yeah, whatever. Simple. But yeah, I mean, this is kind of how I play it. I just kind of go in and steamroll guys and hope for the best. There's a lot more like countering that you do with other characters that I've noticed. It's a bit more finesse. 
Hulk, I just kind of You just shit. tank everybody? Yeah, and it's it's fun. I don't think that he's going to be like my main guy that I focus on uh, leveling up and getting better for the no. Avengers initiative, but he's he's fun. He's got some fun stuff. I just I think his super is okay. Like, you know, it's funny how, how fun it is to play as Kamala. Yes! She's one of the funner characters to play with. I, I cannot believe that I've like really started liking her. Yeah, I remember when you started the game, you thought she was uh, worse than Satan. No, I just thought she was lame and preachy. But um, which is basically worse than Satan. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah even Satan's not preachy. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, one of my friends I was talking to in the Discord server a long time ago. They used to be a big fan of Kamala Khan. I didn't understand it, but maybe if. If there's comics that portray her sort of the same way she's portrayed here, I get it. It's reasonable, yeah. Um, and I would be too. Maybe I was reading the wrong stuff, you know? It uh, could be. And also, to be completely fair, she was also introduced under the under the height of the diversification of characters, where like a lot of people were just steamrolled in to be different versus interesting. And it, there is a possibility that I unfairly lumped her into those people. That very well could be. As a reader. Yeah. As a uh, unfortunate uh, consequence of their push. Yeah, because like the all new, all different Marvel, I think is what it was called, and Marvel Now, they were really just trying to bring in a ton of different characters and throw stuff at the wall and see what fit. And to me, a lot of it didn't. And Kamala was really pushed during that age of Marvel Comics. Okay. So like I said, it's, it's very possible that I also unfairly push her into that camp a little bit um, in terms of just everything else that was going on. I don't know. Just wasn't working. Yeah. And to be fair, for a while, I don't think Miles Morales was working either, but now he's great, so... That's true. And now he's getting his own Spider-Man game. Yeah, and he's a fantastic character. He, he was um, great in the, in the regular, normal Spider-Man game, too, that first came out. Well, so can I talk? Can I tell you about something controversial I don't want to get too far into? Sure. But I, I think that my opinions on this have changed. They used to be a lot more... Um, Social justice actually, believe it or not. Okay. I used to be a lot more of a social justice person, believe it or not, like early college and stuff like that. I think the difference is now is that Miles is not black Spider-Man. Miles is Spider-Man. Yeah. And that's part of his identity. And his race is part of his identity. But it's not who he is. Just like Peter Parker is not all about him being white. He's about being Peter Parker. Being white's part of who he is. That's it. Right. Um, I think that there's been a change in writing a little bit in comics that's less that way in terms of he, this characteristic defines this character versus it's a characteristic of them. Um, I think Miles improved as that writing changed. I think Kamala probably did, if, if this game is any indication, um, as that style of writing changed. And some of the backlash to that style of writing was also feeling like, why are we forcing this and not doing it? authentically right and also some of the backlash to that style of writing was equally unfair as that style of writing because it wouldn't give those characters a chance um so it, it's both i think on my part at least i think that's reason yeah i think that makes sense it's a reasonable take dude i don't know do you don't you think that miles seems like he's gotten more interesting as time went on because when he was introduced first it was just like oh he's replacement spider-man now he's his own guy. He's his own guy, and like you look at, I don't know if you mentioned. I'm sorry, I was I was focusing way too hard and wasn't paying as much attention as I no, should. No, I appreciate that you're helping me. But did you uh, did you talk at all about like uh, the Spider-Man movie, the Into the Spider Verse? Into the Spider Verse, yeah, yeah. No, I did not. Actually. So I mean, he's he's awesome in that movie too, and that was kind of like I think one of the big things that pushed him into the spotlight was he was. Uh, at least for the, the more casual fan, I should say. I think a lot of comic book fans were obviously very knowledgeable of Miles Morales, but um, I really didn't know too much about him before that movie. And so it was cool to see that and see that he's he's interesting and it works with Peter really well. Like Their relationship is really fun. Uh, I'm just going to use the super. It's almost like a little brother. Yes. Who has a different background, but do you ever get the feeling that Miles is any less like Peter, though, because of the color of his skin in that movie or, no. in, or in the Spider-Man game? I don't really. I mean, like, yes, they've had some different experiences, but sure. they're both people. I think that's the important thing to stress with any of this. And I think that, not to make it too political, but with everything going on in our country, I think that's a difference that people need to start getting behind is, like, 
different experiences doesn't mean like, oh, you're less of a person or, right. oh, because you went through this, you know, we can't relate in any way. Um, Peter and Miles, they relate on the things they relate on and they're different persons in the way that they're different persons. And that might sound silly, but it's the same way you and I relate. Mm -hmm. You grew up in a very different family structure than I grew up in. We're still very alike and very different. Um, you and me. Yes. And I think that Miles and Peter are the same way, and I think that's how you have to write those characters without disingenuously ignoring everything that comes with it. Yeah. Like, cause... Static Shock was able to talk about the fact he grew up in a poor African community without dismantling it, but they also relate him to every other character. It's mm -hmm. not like, oh, he grew up poor, so he's, he's worse or different or had it harder, so you can't relate him. It's something that actually makes him more relatable to a lot of people. Yes. You know? So it's... An important trait of Static Shock. Hulk. I need you to destroy this lab. Smash! Restrain the Hulk! You saw the truth, Banner. You were the only one. We're fixing the damage the Avenger. I'm gonna level us up quick. Boom! Okay, cool, cool. What we did all those years ago. There is a chance for all those inhumans to have a better life. We can still save the inhumans from your fate. They want a cure. He's lying! He's not saving anyone! I wish you didn't have to come to this. 